Hello friends, welcome to Auto It Basic Concepts Tutorial Part 7. In this session, we are going to discuss about two important functions win activate and win move. As I have mentioned the agenda at this notepad, so we will see the working of win activate and win move practically. Let's begin. So, first we will understand what is the purpose of win activate and win move win activate method will restore your minimized window minimized target window okay after that you can apply the movement with the help of win move and win move method help you to move your windows around the screen or you can resize as well Let's look into the method signature of win move. As I have mentioned here, you can see we have these parameters present with win move method. The first one is title. The title is just like the, the ID to identify the target window. And the second one is the text. So this is the text which is present on the window somehow and with the help of this text you can also say that uh, this will help you to identify the window but in some cases this is optional so def in uh, major conditions we never use this text so only the id is sufficient to identify the target window okay after that we have an an x and y coordinate so this is the x and y coordinate this is the new position of your window okay so suppose your default window is opened on the right corner of your screen and you just want to move uh, your window to the left corner of the screen then the x and y coordinate will be the new position coordinate for the window after that we can specify the width in case you want to resize the window so you can specify the width after that you can specify the height okay the last parameter is speed so speed is a number from 1 to 100 so you can assume this thing as a transition of movement so I will show you on the screen that will clear this thing. So this is this speed is a number range from 1 to 100. If you put a number lower then the speed will be faster and you put number higher number then the speed will be slow. I will show you this thing uh, with a practical example. Okay. So let's move uh, to the next. Now with the help of activities we will see everything that we have just discussed here. Okay so first I will show you a window information tool that will help you to identify the target window. For this purpose what you have to do. So this uh, the activity dedicated for this action. So I'm going to show you how you will do it. So first you have to identify the installation location. So suppose uh, uh, anyone is appearing at your place. So you can simply do the right click and you can visit the uh, file location. And here you will see the auto -it window information tool shortcut. Okay. And uh, you can directly reach if you know the path of the ins auto it installation location. Okay, so here we have two type for the window 64 bit and windows 32 bit. So I'm going to use the first one. Simply double click on it. And this is the window information tool. This will help you to identify the ID, the class of target window. Let me show you. Uh, with an example okay now I'm going to open a simple notepad okay I have just opened up the notepad you can see here and 
this is the finder tool simply you have to click on this tracker and put it on this notepad okay when you put it on the notepad you can see here the title is untitled notepad if you want to use the title suppose in case you have a particular notepad file for which the title is already set so you can go with the title okay and the second thing if you have multiple notepads but you are not able to differentiate with the title in that case simply you can use the class and the class will be more useful if you are working with the other windows objects as well so simply when you find a tool drag on this thing this window or any other window so here we will see the class name so simply we will pick this class name and i will minimize and i will update here okay so in your script i am using here this notepad okay so this is the finder tool window info tool that will help you to identify the class name of target window okay i hope you are clear on this now we will see the activity 2 in the activity 2 we will see the working of win activate method okay for this purpose i have uh, written one demo script that will show you the working of win activate okay so first i will close this thing and i will open the editor this is the auto script editor so i will copy this small function and uh, wait here so i will paste that script here and you can see i'm calling a simple function and which is declared here okay so what is going inside this so we are looking for the win activate methods working okay how we are doing so as i told you win activate method will restore your minimized window okay in our case what we are trying to achieve so we are trying to target a notepad so first i will open a notepad and i will minimize that notepad after that i will execute this script and this script will detect my minimized notepad and once detection is successful this will go for sleep for 5 second and after that you will see the result of restoring through the win activate method i hope you got the intention and you got the functionality of this auto it script let's go i'm going to run it before this i will open a notepad okay so here we go we got this notepad and i'm going to minimize this notepad here that's it now it's time to run the auto it script and we will see the working of fin activate let's go just type the run script utility and with the help of this going to run the auto it just see this so script is running and uh, let's see the minimized window restored okay so when you see this script win activate method done its job perfectly so minimized window restored successfully by win activate method i hope you guys are clear on win activate method working so far so good and now we are going to move on the activity 3 so in the activity 3 we will see the working of win move method as i have told you win move method will be used to move the window from one place to another place also this will help you to resize your target window okay let's look into the practical session so i have another script will little bit enhancement in previous script that will show you the working of win move method okay guys here we go so let me explain you what we are doing here in this activity the same uh, kind of example function calling and this is the declaration for the example so this is the uh, 
definition of example method so what we are doing first we are checking that uh, win weight if you have seen my previous video uh, the working of win weight method so we are waiting uh, for the user to open the uh, notepad uh, and uh, this is the waiting time is 10 second within 10 second this will detect and uh, we will assign this object window to this variable okay after that we will take the five second pause and here's the win activate win activate is just like in case you your window is already open and which is minimized so that will activate your window you if you want you can use it in my case i'm removing this removing this because we want to see only the win move functionality and uh, let me explain you what we have inside so win move method we have the first uh, parameter which is the class name of the target window notepad text is nothing and this is the coordinate this is the new position of the window so as i have told you in the example we will put our notepad on the right side of the window and the this uh, win move will reset the position from right side to the left side and the new position is x and y which is 200 which is x and the y is 300 so x and y coordinate i have given here after that i have given the width 900 and the height is 700 after that i have given the speed parameter which is maximum that means the movement of the window you can see with your eyes easily and this movement will be very slow you will see the animation of movement on the screen okay after that we are taking the five second pause and then we are trying to close the notepad window okay so this is the simple script i hope this is clear to you now we are going to run it okay so the notepad is already open so i have just closed it so what i will do i will do it everything in front of you just a second so i am putting this script here and first uh, what i will do first i will run this script with the help of a script runner and here we go a script is running okay now what is my task i will open the notepad so notepad is just open and i minimized this thing and i'm putting here now you can see a script just take over the control and now this is moving to the new place and the new uh, notepad size is 900 by 700 you can see the animation of movement okay so the coordinate new coordinate that i have given is here 200 by 300 and this will be placed to the new xy position okay and finally the last statement executed win close and that notepad is just closed so guys you have seen the working of win move which looks pretty awesome and guys these are the two important methods and you can take the benefit of these two methods win activate and win move when you are doing some automation i hope you guys are clear on these concepts and if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help